Citroen has a habit of showing concept cars that are very close to the production vehicle that's going to follow on. And this is the DS High Rider, and it's actually going to turn into the DS4, which is the second car in Citroen's premium DS range. Now, what can you take away from this? Well, it's going to be a crossover coupe, as you can see, slightly more jacked up than a normal car. And it's at the moment, it's only a, a two-door with a very sloping roof line. Now, if you're wondering about the interior, we can't actually show it you because Citroen's keeping it secret to keep a couple of surprises back for this car later in the year. But I've been told there's actually quite a bit of space in the rear because the car is actually jacked up. It means that there's more room for them to do a sloping roof line. This particular model has a diesel hybrid engine. The diesel engine powers the front wheels where the, an electric motor actually drives the rear. Now, such a system is possible on the road-going DS4, which is likely to arrive next year. But most cars will just be normal front-wheel drive. In terms of a driving experience, DS vehicles are supposed to be sporty, and this one is going to be no exception. It's also, apparently, according to the designer, supposed to give you a feeling of kind of security and solidity without actually feeling kind of heavy and weighty like a normal four-wheel drive car. So what do I think of it? Well, I do quite like the design and I think it is definitely something different. There's a couple of the styling things that I'm not so keen on, such as the curve over the rear wheel arch, but overall, it is very, very different to most cars on the road today. So I think when it does arrive, it's definitely going to stand out.